on the eve of spring break, daylight savings, as though minutes might be bankable, as though there could be more or less of them simply by our agreeing to make it so. March weather, rain, then snow, then ice, then rain again, until our boots are as muddied as the terms a student, despairing in the chair beside my desk, recites from his tattered anthology of theory and criticism, its 1,000 onion skin leaves so thin the book seems more palimpsest than page. He says post-human, trans species, and I am suddenly thinking of Robinson Jeffers, thinking surely we would all be happier now, just pushing a few boulders around. I am still halfway to another coast, imagining sea spray and sunlight, when the next student in the seat says she's, she's just read we are all eight selves every time we speak. Then we consider whether the word before other in her opening stanza should be each or an. While I think now, for no apparent reason, of an old friend who waited a decade for her first husband to stop loving his second wife. If she had rediscovered within herself the young woman she once was, why hadn't he? Tomorrow, May we all be on a beach, sipping something sweet from a coconut, our flesh tuned for pleasure, the dazzled body churning out a warehouse of vitamin D. But, of course, most of us aren't that type. Soon we will repay our borrowed hours. But by then, may even the ponderous be too drunk on the end of winter to care. It's simple. We'd rather set out in the dark than arrive there. If wisdom is a myth, it is one of the better ones, more exacting in its ways than love, for, unlike love, it schools us again and again in its own limitations.